Hello there, it's Hillary and welcome back for another Creative Faith video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a wellness themed video and we are going to be talking about organic cotton clothing and what I've been learning about. So this um, video, if you like wellness content, I have a whole wellness journaling and planning online course where I share a lot more content like this as I have, you know, been learning and growing in my wellness journey. And so if you love content like this, I will put a link to this online class and why don't we do a big discount? I'm gonna do, let's do a 50% off discount. I don't think I've ever done a discount this big on it. So let's do it. We'll have it up for a week and what's gonna be the code? I didn't really think about this ahead of time. <laughs> let's say get healthy 50. I'll put the code on the screen here and the dates it's good for. So if you want to join and learn more about wellness journaling and planning, I share a lot of vlogs that are kind of similar to this video um, in that online course. So I'd love to teach you more. Um, but I have been on a wellness journey. So at the beginning of 2022 is when I launched this online course and it really put me on this trajectory of learning and growing in my wellness. So from eating and working out to learning about toxins in our environment, in our homes, in our foods, in our skincare, things like that. And it's been really eye-opening, very overwhelming, <laughs> but I am so thankful for all the growth that I've had over the past year and a half and all that I continue to learn about too. So why is this important in the grand scheme of eternity? Well, first off, the Lord gave us our bodies and we are called to be stewards of our bodies. Our God, God's word talks about how our bodies are um, where the Holy Spirit dwells. And so it's important to take care of ourselves. Also, I want to have as much energy as possible to do what God calls me to do, to love him and love others, to go out and make disciples of all nations. These are not easy tasks. They require energy and effort and hard work. And so I want to make sure that I am as healthy as possible so that I can, again, do the things that God calls me to do. And I've been learning so much about how what we put in our bodies, food, what we put on our bodies, makeup, skincare, shampoos, things like that, clothing, which is what this video is going to focus on, and what we put around our bodies. So candles, fragrances, um, there's lots of things around our bodies too. All have massive impacts on our health. And there are so many toxins in our world because everything's focused about money, right? And, and healthy things take more, more money and time to put together. But you know, what is ultimately good for us and it is to, to fill ourselves with good things. And so anyways, this whole wellness journey has been super interesting. I do have a YouTube video that I kind of talked more about what God has been teaching me. I think I posted it last year. So I'll link that video down below if you want to hear more about that. But, um, in this video, just in the past, really the past month, I have been learning about clothing. So I uh, follow this lady named Fallon and May, I think is her Instagram. I should have pulled that up. I forgot to do that. But she posted this really interesting thing uh, saying how, you know, especially with me, I've been learning about, you know, using less plastic and more glass and things like that. And she was talking about, let me see if I can find her her story here. Oh, Fallon DNA, I think. I'll put her Instagram handle here if you want to follow her. But um, your health and well-being, this is what she wrote, is being a stair-step approach. 
Um, I've been slowly transitioning my wardrobe to more organic and natural fibers over the past year or so. But I had still been buying other items with synthetic materials like polyester, rayon, etc. Um, when my family got knocked out with a tough virus last month, the sudden I had the sudden intuition and desire to only put organic clothing on us during this illness. And she found this article that was talking about clothing. And so she was talking about how... Um, why would I stop using plastic and synthetics in my kitchen and my home, but continue to put them on my body in clothing? The transition is a slow one, but my body can feel the difference. I almost crave organic and natural clothing. So she was talking about in her post and in this article, she found how so many of our clothing that is made with synthetic fibers and those are plastics. And then those plastics are, you know, you're putting them on your skin, which is our largest organ and it is absorbing all of these plastics <laughs> that have chemicals in them and it's impacting um, our health, fertility, cancer, all of these things. And so also when you are, when you heat plastic, it makes it worse, right? That's why it's good to not microwave your food in plastic Tupperware. Um, so think about when you're putting your clothing that's made with you know, these synthetic materials that are plasticky, you're putting them in the dryer, you're putting them in warm water, possibly when you're washing, when you're wearing them and you're working out, your body heats up. And so it's making it even, even worse. I have a blog post that I wrote <laughs> that I'm going to link down below where I have all of this articulated better. <laughs> but it just was really surprising to me that I've been on this big wellness journey for over a year and just now I'm kind of learning about the toxins in our clothing. And so anyways, I just was really shocking and, you know, especially you think about like, so then I got kind of overwhelmed. <laughs> so I feel like I learned something and then I get kind of overwhelmed and then, okay, I'm feed, I'm learning and I'm, I'm soaking up this information, feeding it through my filters and okay, what can I do about it then? So I was thinking about where to begin. So the most important thing are the things that you wear closest to your skin. So like underwear, bras, socks, um, leggings, also things that you wear for a long amount of time. So like pajamas, you're wearing those typically for Lord willing, you're getting eight hours of sleep a night. So you're wearing them for a longer amount of time. And so those are the things to maybe kind of start with. So one thing, um, so what are you, what should you be looking for? look for natural fibers. So think organic cotton. 100% cotton is a great starting point. So I was kind of going through my closet and pulling things that were 100% cotton because that's better than, you know, 100% polyester, which is a lot of things that I own. <laughs> um, but if you can get organic cotton clothing, that is even better. And then linen is another good um, natural fiber. And so I kind of go through and I think, did God make this? So I kind of think about this when it comes to food as well, right? I think certain foods have been sort of villainized, but if God made it, raw milk, for example, uh, fruits and vegetables, meat those are good but then if humans made it it's normally means that it's not as good for you so another thing to kind of think about is dyes used on fabric so a lot of like bright colors and things like that aren't natural dyes and those are also maybe not as as good and so I'm going to talk about some different brands. I am going to show you guys what I have purchased. I'm going to do some try-ons for you. I have a lot of the stuff. I first went to Amazon because that is an easy place. Maybe not the best place, but it was a starting point. 
and then I got uh, a few things from a few other two other stores online and then in the blog post I have a list of a ton of other online stores that I have been looking at I'm looking down at my blog post so that's why you see me looking down a lot but I want to make sure too that just because I share or mention a brand doesn't mean that all the things on their site or store are 100 percent organic cotton so like a lot of people I have been seeing sharing recycled polyester. Well, that's better than regular polyester, but it's still polyester, which is, I don't think, very good for you. So anyways, this is just a lot of stuff I've been learning and processing, and you are my friend. And I have been thinking about how, you know, salvation is a, is a cure for sin and going to hell, <laughs> I guess is how, I, again, I'm not phrasing all this super eloquently, but, um, and how we're supposed to share about salvation. I feel like, man, I have found kind of some tools and thoughts for, and, and things that can help with our health. And I want to share that with you. So that's kind of the purpose behind all of this. All right, so let's get into what have I actually purchased. All right, that was kind of a long rambly intro to get into this haul video. So the very first thing I started with is underwear because I was getting, some of my current underwear was getting old and I needed new ones. So two, you can think about it as instead of like, okay, I'm going to totally empty my closet and now go out and buy a bunch of things. Okay. That is a lot of money. And maybe you have money to do that, but I definitely don't. <laughs> so little by little, okay, I need new underwear. So let's start there. So I found this brand on Amazon called Sam Organics. It came in this very cute box and there are a few different certifications. I don't know that this, that these ones are, but I forgot to mention earlier, GOTS Certified Organic Cotton is a certification that some companies have. That is a good one to look for. And also OEKO Tech Certified is another good one to look for. But even if they don't have those, like, Something is better than nothing. <laughs> so anyways, I got these underwear. They are made, or the fabric's made in Australia, and the underwear is made in China. So I don't love that second part, but I'm not gonna try these on for you. But they're just these plain black underwear, granny panties. I really like them though. They, I got a size extra large and they fit me really nicely and they cover me well and I've been really, really liking these. I probably, so it came in a pack of four. I probably wanna try out some organic cotton underwear from some other companies that are on my website list of things that I've been looking at. But again, it's a start. The next thing I wanna talk about is socks. So I found these socks, they are called Go With. And I'm not sure what language this is. So if you know, comment below. <laughs> um, but they are crew socks, cotton crew socks. And this is what they look like. And I've been wearing them around the house. I, excuse me, even though it is spring in Oregon, it is still rainy and cold. And it was even hailing this week. So I'm still dressing in sweaters and things like that. So I've been wearing these around the house or with boots. They look really cute with boots. I've been folding them over and they're really, really comfortable. And I got a size small in these. And so I really like these. I also want to get some lower crew, um, shorter socks um, from a few different companies I've been looking at online too. Maybe if you guys, if you like this video, comment below if you'd like to see a part two haul in 
a few months <laughs> um, if I buy some other things. But I've been really, really liking these socks. So those are two things on Amazon that I have been enjoying. All right, the next thing I got th three things actually from a company called Fair Indigo. And this is a company that has a website, but I bought these things on Amazon. And so the first thing I got is a tank top, just a plain black undershirt, because I wear undershirts under a lot of sweaters and things like that. Um, I got an extra large and somewhat it was in a different packaging it was in like a ziploc bag versus the other two things i ordered from fair indigo from amazon were in a different packaging so this and it smells like someone wore it so and washed it so this was a returned item and i'll try it on for you and let you know my thoughts all right you gotta see me in all my curvy glory <laughs> Um, but the last time I did an Amazon try on, you guys, you enjoyed it um, from when I went on vacation. So this is the extra large Fair Indigo all cotton luxe tank. And I got an extra large and I am going to return this. I'm not sure if I'm going to return it and get a large, but I didn't really like how, um, I don't know. I just, if it's an undershirt, I just want it to be a little bit tighter and I don't like that it smells like someone else's laundry. So anyways, I do like the style of it and stuff. So again, I might order this in a large or I might try a tank top from a different company. So let's try on something else. Let's try filming them this way. It might be easier for you to see. So this next piece is also from Fair Indigo. It is the organic all cotton relaxed crew neck t-shirt in a size extra large in the color raisin. And I love this t-shirt. I think I definitely want to get it in other colors. It is a little bit longer, but it'd also be cute. Like I like wearing my t-shirts tucked into jeans or black pants. So that would be kind of cute like so. I like that it's not super, super fitted and I just think it's a pretty color and stuff. So I really, really like this one and would highly recommend that you check this out. And I will have links to all of the things I'm trying on in the description box below. All right, the last Fair Indigo piece that I got on Amazon is their leggings. They are organic, all cotton, 26 inch ankle length leggings. I got the size extra large and I love these. I wore them twice this week. And one thing about all cotton leggings is they don't hold their shape as much. So you can see like back here, they're a little bit baggier <laughs> than when I first put them on, um, but they are so, so comfortable. I love them. I love that they are not see-through like some leggings I have, and they're very, very, very comfortable. So I definitely want to get another pair of these. Let's see if you can see. I might try, they have a 30 inch in length. I might try and get one that is a 30 inch in length just to kind of see because these are a little bit cropped they're the 26 inch ones but i really really love this this pair all right the outfit i'm about to show you i would never wear in public together <laughs> it is gray on gray <laughs> but these are the last two things that i got on amazon and i really like both of them um, so the top is from Echo Conscious. It's actually a men's t-shirt. I think they might have had women's ones, but I wasn't sure, I don't know, how I felt about it, about getting a woman's one because I don't like my t-shirts to be super, super tight. And so, anyways, I went with this guy's one. And I got it in the color charcoal and in the size large. And the sleeves are longer um, because it's a guy's shirt. So I thought, well, I could roll the, um, roll up the sleeves if I wanted, or 
I could cut the sleeves, but I don't know. That's kind of cute. And I would wear this again, tucked into jeans. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll put some pictures of some outfit ideas. Um, but I really like the fit of it. It's just a comfy organic cotton t-shirt. And then the pants, I love. They are so comfortable. So it's the brand Felina. These are the organic cotton stretch fold waist joggers. I got the color slate in a size extra large and they're very, very comfortable. They are pretty thin. Um, that was some of the negative reviews on Amazon where those are too thin, <laughs> but they're very comfy for around the house and pajama pants. So I'm, I'm not pregnant. I'm just curvy. <laughs> Um, but they have this fold waist at the top and they have pockets and so I just love the coverage and I love the comfy band and they are just very, very comfortable. So those are all of the things I got on Amazon. So now I'm going to share two sweaters that I got from a different store and two things I got from Get. So let's try this on. So next let's talk about this really pretty sweater that I'm wearing. This is what I was wearing at the beginning of the video. So Gomi Kids, G-O-U-M-I Kids, is a brand. They have mostly kids clothing, but they have some matching outfits for women. And again, I'm not pregnant, but I thought, oh, let me just see what they have. And so since winter is ending and spring well we're in spring now but they were having a sale on some of their sweaters so this is their chunky knit sweater they have their sizes as small medium or large extra large so this is the large extra large i definitely could have done a small medium but that <laughs> was final sale is that what it's called so that's okay it is a little bit big on me but again I'm okay with that I love comfy clothes they had tons of different color options they had like a navy one and a green one and this one I can't remember what the name of this one is but it's the brown one <laughs> and again this would be really cute to tuck in and wear with jeans but I really like this sweater I was showing my husband the different pieces and he was like that's my favorite thing you got so we have this cozy sweater um no it's chunkiness sweater is its official name and now I'll show you the other sweater that I got from this brand as well are you ready for another cute cozy sweater <laughs> so this one is called the knit button up sweater again this is a large extra large and I do wish I would have gotten a small medium, but it's so hard. Like the next store I'm going to show you from is Gap and this tie dye shirt is an extra large and the other shirt I got over there is a small. <laughs> so it's super challenging to shop, especially online. But anyways, now I know. And if I get another pair or another sweater from them in the future, I can try a smaller size. But I really like this cardigan. I've just been thinking about what pieces in my closet do I have right now that I reach for and wear a lot. I wear a lot of crew neck sweaters, a lot of cardigans like this, a lot of t-shirts, a lot of button-up shirts, and that's kind of my staple. So I'm, you know, trying to find a few alternatives. I don't need to have a ton of ton of clothes. I just need to have a few healthy pieces um, good for me pieces that make me feel good and are cute. So trying to live simpler. Another way that you can wear this sweater, it was styled online without a shirt under it. Um, the lady had it kind of pulled up more like this without a shirt under it. Um, I'd probably wear it, you could wear it like this with a cami under it. So you could also button it. But I really like this one as well. I do wish they were a little bit smaller, but you live and you learn. So hopefully you can order <laughs> the right size when and if you order from them. 
All right, last but not least, let's talk about GAP. So as I was researching online, I saw that GAP has some organic cotton clothing, which I thought was really cool. And it was at a little bit more of an affordable price. And my husband got me a GAP gift card, not this birthday, but birthday of 2022 and hadn't used it all. So I went to a local Gap store and I overheard the guy, like one of the cashiers say they price matched what's online. And online they were having a 50% off sale and a 20% off sale. So I picked up this denim button up. It's called the Denim Big Shirt with Washwell. I got a size small, the extra small actually fit me too, but Again, I just like things a little bit looser, so I am wearing it open first, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like buttoned up, but um, I like it as sort of like a shacket, I guess you would say. And then I also got an organic cotton crew neck tie-dye t-shirt, and this is a size extra large. <laughs> so I just was like kind of laughing going out the store with an extra large and a small both that fit me, so... I really liked this one. It's just a pastel uh, light tie-dye yeah, and I probably should wear a new bra under it but I just liked that and again I can tuck it in to some jeans, wear it with a sweater on top and I really really like how it fits. It's very comfy <laughs> and I could wear this as a night shirt. I could wear it for working out. I could wear it uh, dress it up with you know some fancy earrings and flats and wear it to work so I love the versatility of just a nice t-shirt and especially that it's organic cotton I just really love that all right here is the last shirt so what I was gonna say so with Gap I would have spent like I think this was like 60 or 70 and the t-shirt I just had on was 30 so it should have been a hundred and I ended up spending $30 and then I had a gift card that covered half of it. So I was like very, very excited <laughs> about that. So I love this because it's long enough to wear with leggings or jeans. I, again, I love button up shirts and I think it's nice that you could wear it unbuttoned with something underneath or buttoned and you could wear it down or like I mentioned, I like tucking in my shirts. I'm kind of having them blouse over a little bit. So this is an outfit that I am going to wear many, many times. And I love that it's organic cotton. And I that Instagram post that I was reading to you about how she really craves organic cotton clothing now, I can totally see that. <laughs> After, you know, just a week of kind of transforming my wardrobe a little bit. I put on my polyester leggings and I was like, these don't feel very good. <laughs> but little by little, I can work on making better purchases for my body and for the environment as well too. So cute, cute outfit to end. All right. I hope this video was helpful for you. I feel like I have just been learning so much about the textile industry and just how I can better care for my body with what I put on it. And yeah, it's just been such an interesting learning process and I hope you're enjoying learning about it too. So again, if you want to join the wellness journaling and planning online course and get more kind of content like that, you can join now for 50% off. I'll put that code here on the screen again. And yeah, I hope that you will take care of your body so that you will be healthy and well and be able to love the Lord and serve him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength for all the days of your life. Um, I, how do I want to end? So all of the things I got on Amazon, I will have linked down below. Those are affiliate links, which just means that I get a little commission for sending you their way. And then go check out that blog post that I mentioned that has some uh, other websites and stores that I've been looking at online. I really want to work on bras next because that is something that you wear 
every day and it's you know another very important part of the body of a lady and so I've been looking at a brand called Nikki K-N-I-K-E-Y official they have a couple of bralettes and um, there's one called mate m-a-t-e and they have a sports bra uh, gap had one but they didn't have it in store so i couldn't try it on and then groceries is the company that uses food to dye their clothing like onion peels and avocados and coffee grounds i thought that was really cool they have a few bralettes um, that I have been looking at also, and Harvest and Mill is another one I've been looking at. They have socks that I've been checking out uh, for undershirt tank tops. The Nikki Official has, uh, or it might be called Official Easy Tank. They have a tank top. Groceries has a tank top. Uh, the Simple Folk have really, really cute stuff, but it's a little more expensive. And what else? Beachwood Baby has some cute things. Outer Known has some cute things. So those are some of the different companies I've been looking at. And yeah, I just... I hope you liked this video. Comment below if you did, what you thought of it. I always get super self-conscious doing try on videos like that just because I'm not the skinniest person in the world. I am much heavier than I was five, ten years ago, but I try, you know, I've been really working out, trying to eat a lot better, and so I also just have to embrace the body the Lord gave me. <laughs> as well and i hope you do too so yeah that was a lot of information this is probably going to be a really long video but i hope it was helpful and i hope you learned something and i hope you'll maybe think about what kind of clothing items you pick up and are they the best for you for your health and just being a more conscious consumer and, and buyer so Anyways, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you have an organic cotton clothing company you love, I'd love to hear that too. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any Creative Faith videos. And I will see you next time. Bye!